Mary, thank you. I know it's frosty out there for you. My goodness, the wind yeah, is a biting. Yeah, my freezing as I'm talking. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for calling hey, in. Hey, what? What was that? I have another volunteer. Okay. <laughs> is that Marquise? Yes, it was. Marquise, thank you for helping Mother out there. Okay, we're going to move on. Mary, thank you for calling. I appreciate that. I'm so sorry the weather's cold, but uh, the Salvation Army appreciates your effort. And uh, there's a bunch of you all over the all over the county ringing bells for that organization. Merry, uh, Merry Christmas, Miss Sanders, and uh, take care of yourself, and we'll probably see you later. All right, thanks. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, bye bye now. Um, I, I know we're, 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 we may get another call from our other kids who are ringing. Mary Sanders is out in Fenton, everybody, and we've got some three young men that I hope remember to call in right now. Vice President Dan Smith, board member who joined us just a few moments ago, uh, there in the in the Genesee Valley Mall. Three knuckleheads out there, <laughs> have, having the time of their life. They're great kids. And I hope they remember to call in. They're just they're ringing away and having a good time. And Merry Christmas and folks. And uh, I, I just sat back and laughed and, and watched them there. They're really into the spirit. Uh, they're going to be out there for a couple hours. So there we go. Well, let's get into the program, folks. International Academy of Flint. We enroll folks all year long. You know about that diagnostic test. If you'd like to come to our school, we'd love to have you. Love to have you. But we do, however, ask your children to take a diagnostic test in math and English so that we can determine uh, what level they are at because we will not place a child in a grade in which they will not succeed. That is for their benefit, for your benefit, for their future. Uh, we do not want to disrespect a child by just passing them and passing them and passing them year after year if they're not capable of the work that they're going to go into. In some school districts, they socially promote. You've been in there a year, whoop, out you go. We don't do that, gang. Never have, never will. Our system says that you'll only uh, be uh, promoted if you earn that designation. And we're kind of a tough school related to that, but it is, uh, it is being respectful to students, uh, not disrespectful. So we'll trust that you'll believe in us and uh, keep the faith with us, and we have a real good program. I think you're well aware of that. And we'll talk just for a moment before we got two super guests here that are falling asleep while I'm doing all this talking. Wake up, guys. Wake up. <laughs> well, we've got another. We had a great emphasis on great. I sound like Tony the Tiger. But we had a great Thanksgiving. We, I think, uh, Board Member Smith, we must have fed, what, 43,000 people? Uh, not quite that many. <laughs> okay. Well, you were there from start to finish, and you were on the microphone entertaining people. And uh, we had, I think, uh, somewhere around 300 people plus, and we had vans going uh, all over the city, thanks to St. James Baptist Church, Salvation Army, and First Class Transportation. They gave us some vans, and the MTA, Lord bless the MTA, uh, they provided buses at designated spots throughout the city for us to, uh, to, uh, to uh, accommodate those that are in a little bit of need in a certain locations, and went to some housing projects and tried to in include everybody. And it was a great, uh, great day. We had the press out there galore. You may have seen a little report about, uh, on us. And the Flint Journal, I understand, uh, complimented us as well. So that's front great. Front page of the Flint Journal. Front page. Wow. <laughs> front page? Front page. How many yesterday. pages are there, Dan? About two? <laughs> Several yesterday. Several. Okay. Slow news <laughs> Watch out, folks. Watch out, folks. Flint Journal, thank you for your kind coverage. We appreciate that. And uh, anyway, let's get moving. Thanks, everybody, for a great, great Thursday. We helped some folks. They enjoyed our food basket. They enjoyed the clothing they were able to pick up. They enjoyed, of course, the meal. And uh, let's move ahead. Let's introduce these guests. And uh, Mr. Allen, I've got to look to my left because ladies first. Okay, partner? Yes. Okay. Hi, Ms. Walker. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Okay. Here's my new best friend, everybody. Uh, Ms. Walker, it's good to talk to you. Uh, you were at our basketball meeting last night and kind of bumped into you and I pinned you against the wall and said, you're on the radio program. Right. And she, uh, of course, you know I'm kidding about no, that, folks, but she was just wonderful and agreed to be with us. Miss Walker, tell us about your lovely family and maybe we could introduce uh, your son here in his Bermuda shorts today. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 29 degrees below zero. But yeah, he yeah, just came from basketball practice. He so. has some seasonal <laughs> challenges, you know, summer, warm, winter, cold. He ain't got that yet, but we'll work with it. <laughs> Go ahead, Miss Walker, tell us about him and your other beautiful daughter. Um, Michael and Nikasia. Michael has actually been going to IEL since the fourth grade. Was it the fourth? Yeah. Fifth, fifth grade. Okay. Um, and my godmom actually found 
out about the school and she How'd she do that? Do you remember? No, no but she do. Okay. Radio. Radio? Radio! Board member Smith, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And he's now in the 11th, and I I really, really like IAF because it's a college prep school. It, gets, oh, it prepares yeah. them for college. That's right. And That's right. It teaches them how to take notes okay. for... Um, tests and different things that they need that they need to take the test because mm -hmm. um, I understand that IAF is a very challenged school. You have to pay attention and you okay. have to keep up. So, because yeah, part of our mission statement, and I'll slide that in right now, is making sure kids are prepared to mm -hmm. succeed in college, not just get there, but right. succeed, succeed once they get there. Yeah. And we have a number of interventions and, and processes for that to occur, and I won't take the audience's time to explain that. But hey, come on by, somebody. I don't do nothing all day long but wait for that door to open for a visitor to come <laughs> in so I can give a tour. So come on in and wake me up. Would you do that? Would you do that? I'd love to tour you through our, through our halls, our classrooms, meet some of our administrators and some of our wacky teachers who love kids to death. We just would love to, to treat you that way. Ms. Walker, thank you. Now tell us about your daughter, please. Um, and where is she today? We got to know that. Basketball. Practice. Where is that at? Uh, yeah. And what's going to happen a little bit later today? Um, Scrimmage. Where is that at? At Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're good. I wish I could give you a dollar for every good answer, girlfriend. But that's not happening today unless board member Smith would like to chip in. <laughs> okay. Right. That's I'll, good. Okay. Yeah, yes, we're going to have a little scrimmage. How's she doing academic? She's in, I think, two grades behind. She no, she's in 10th. She's in 10th. Yes. Okay. She's doing very well. Okay. She, um, she got a little distracted last year, but... I'll take that. <laughs> she got a little just two dollars. The only two he's ever earned. So. <laughs> He'll get me later. I know he's going to get yes, me. Yes, I will, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but she is she is doing very well. She's okay. In her, Cool. Now, do you know? Let's talk about her for a moment, because I know we're going to get to this guy, Michael, in a moment. What do you know? What she's thinking about yet regarding a career or college? Is she at that stage yet? Yeah, she actually said a doctor, but um, wow, I'm going to try to talk her into getting an you know, MBA. Okay. So, so she could be a CEO over. Oh my MBA. my! To rule the world, right, right here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's Call her Emperor school. Walker. <laughs> right. <won't we>? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Doctor, wonderful. Um, obviously, a great service to mankind. If that were to occur in some specialty within the medical field, and the MBA, of course, that would then uh, certainly provide her access to being a CEO, which is Chief Executive Officer, folks. I'm, I'm sure you know that, but let's just be a little specific. Or certainly, if not that, then some high-ranking office within a corporation, be it profit or nonprofit. So right. that's wonderful, Miss Walker. Now, listen, I, I got to ask you a little bit more before we get to Mr. B Mr. Allen, who fell asleep twice already. <laughs> um, <laughs> not really, gay. He, he's a wildcat. You're going to hear him in a minute. So hang on, everybody. Miss um, Walker, talk about church. I think you got a. Yeah, relative dad, in the business there, my don't dad you? is a preacher. Tell us where, where? Faith Gospel Temple Church of God in Christ okay. on Kent Street. Okay. Yes. On Kent? Mm -hmm. on, the, on the east side? No, we're on the south side. I mean, yeah. south side. Yes. Southeast yes. side, yes. kind of, yeah. Okay. I can't place where that church is on it, Kent. Um, right around the corner from the Coca Cola factory. Oh, sure. Yes. Oh, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Got it now. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, Kent extends on the uh, east, west of Dort Highway. Mm, yeah, That's where it's at. Right, I got right, it. Right, I was right, thinking strictly way. east side. So mm -hmm. forgive me. Forgive me. Okay. Did you give Dad a holler out? No, I no. didn't. Okay. <laughs> He's not even in the city. So oh, okay. He here no way. And <laughs> what? And just one last question before we get to Mr. Allen. What was? Uh, what do you do with the father as a pastor? Do you play a major role in uh, congregational worship and all that? Mm -hmm. No, I should be more involved, but I'm not, but okay. that's going to change. So. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. Very good. Okay. Michael, tell us a little something about you. Where, what are you going to do when you leave here today? I'm going to go home, get a big bowl of cereal, and go to sleep. <laughs> right answer. I thought, don't we have, oh, you have practice, right? You yeah, had practice. That's, what, that's why you were late. I remember. Not late, but... Not well, early. Not early. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, you, radio audience, you did not see the look I just got. Okay. Let me just pull that dagger out of my heart, folks. Uh, Michael, what, what's your position? What are you going to play for us? Basketball. Small forward. Small, small forward. Okay. 
Are you, are you able to start on our, on our starting uh, we team? We don't know yet. Not sure. We're no, still fighting no, for positions. No. Okay. Oh, Marcus is there. Hi, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Marcus you? is uh, Marcus Herring, who is uh, going to also be playing probably center. Because you're uh, five foot uh, fourteen inches, I think by now. <laughs> Aren't you about six foot four? I think. Yeah, and the hair makes him nine foot. Okay. Well, Mr. Mr. Allen, we got to switch to you, buddy. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Okay, let's uh, get into the mic here a little bit better. And um, Mr. Allen, tell us about uh, some good girl that you call your daughter. Tell us about oh, that beautiful uh, child. Jillian is. Uh, a wonderful child of mine. So mm -hmm. I, I just love her, and uh, she's outstanding. Uh, she, she seems to be coming quite a leader. Um, she's um, an honor roll student. Whoa. She was inducted in the uh, National Honor Society this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, I was there. Yep. Uh, she just became captain of the uh, girl basketball, oh varsity basketball team. Oh, so that's outstanding. I'm just, yeah. uh, I'm just excited for uh, and, and we're going to sneak over and watch him uh, scrimmage today then along with uh, oh, yes. with her daughter. Okay, yes. okay very good. Mm -hmm. um, now I know uh, I asked Miss Walker a kind of a leading question. Has Jillian talked with you yet about her either college preferences or where she might hang her hat in terms of a career? Uh, yeah, she's kind of want to be um, uh, accountants, uh, CPA, mm -hmm. uh, so something like that. In, in like the, it's a business field. And they get a master's of uh, something into okay. uh, into the numbers, okay. you know. Well, she also has another gift that we're going to hear, uh, Jesse, in about uh, two weeks or so. I think it's going to be about two weeks. We're going to hear this child. And what's she going to do for us? Oh, her? she's going to sing. She's, okay. she's been singing ever since she was able to walk. So. Okay. Uh, she loves singing, and um, she'll be singing uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess, some Christmas hymns. So. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. And that. Uh, she has done some singing in the past, too. So. Well, if she and was able to walk and down a Walmart, Mary Sanders would give her a, pops, a little sucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you have a beautifully tall daughter. She must be 5'8 yes. or 9 or 10. Oh, yes. Maybe she's even. she's, she's, quite, she's kind of, pretty tall. I guess she took away. after me with that. Okay. So. Yeah, you kind of long yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, um, Ms. Walker, thank you for that conversation. Um, if you were talking to a, your neighbor, a parent next door or so, um, what might you... Tell them about our school. What, what you seem to be pleased. What impresses you the most, perhaps? The fact that they're, um, like I said, the the college thing, and I like the fact that the language, Spanish, mm -hmm. is a mandatory. Mm -hmm. You it know, is. it's mandatory. Yeah, it's in mandatory kindergarten through grade yes, twelve, and, and of course our school. Like as Michael well knows, has four years of high school required language, not just two like mm -hmm. some districts of the state requires. So thanks to board member Dan Smith and others, we have beefed up our requirements to make sure that our kids have access to college. Uh, uh, when they apply, boom, it's pretty much, you're from international, come on in. Okay, right. that and, sort of thing. And don't you have to be accepted to a college to graduate? Oh, I never heard of that. Is oh. that right? <laughs> My <laughs> golly. <laughs> I'm going to marry you, girl. <laughs> yes, it just happens to be true. That we, that's our board again, them doggone rascals. They said, kid, you are not going to graduate from this school unless you can show us a letter of acceptance from a college, and Miss Walker, thank you for bringing that out. I should have done that, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna. Are we still on good terms here? Oh, yes. I can pull yes. that dagger out now. Okay. <laughs> she was way early. She wasn't late. She was way early. She got here at eight thirty. Everybody, eight thirty. Okay. okay. All right. Well, uh, Michael, um, let's talk about some of your favorite classes and school. What what you're doing at school, and uh, you do attend there, don't you, every day? Yes, sir. What's your best class, and where are you going to college, young man? Do you know yet? I have no idea. Okay, but have you kind of zeroed in on a career maybe? Yeah, sports commentation. So you've got, that would mean you have to go into communication. Yes. So you want to be a commentator or, or, yes. or something of that nature. Well then, I know, quickly pops to mind, is an excellent school. Northwestern University has a school in uh, Northern Illinois. Dan Smith has got another dagger in my heart here. What uh, college were you Central doing? Michigan University. Okay, all right. Is that in Michigan? 
Yeah, okay. not far. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and our authorizer. Must be near the middle of the state. Uh, central, okay. Uh, that's great. But yeah, you're going to need a communications degree. There's a lot of competition out there. Um, but of course, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a, it's a lot of fun, number one, because you're an athlete by heart. So when you get through playing, I could see easily that would be your way to stay connected to all kinds of athletics, football, basketball, whatever. So that's it. And obviously, if you get on this ESPN uh, broadcasting system, those folks are putting up a lot of money in their pockets for their, the job that they do, Michael. Good occupation in mind, sir. Very good occupation in mind. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, Allen, we had a conversation last night mm -hmm. and seen we got a board member here. Uh, yes. Would you like to um, express a little bit about uh, some of your thoughts that you had? Oh, as I'm looking at the school, um, my children have been coming to uh, International Academy for two years. We came from Texas. Um, I was born and raised here uh, in Michigan, and um, but this was their first time ever being in Michigan. And uh, after looking over the schools and I. Uh, I found this school to be one of the top schools that I would love for them to travel in, you know. So, uh, but there are some things that I would like for them to have that I had when I was growing up in school. You know, we had band, we had music, we had uh, swimming pool and with our PE, we learned how to swim and just, uh, trying to see what we could do as parents and the board and the community to develop um, uh, some kind of way so we can get those kind of programs into the programs of International Academy. Mm -hmm. would, would you, can you respond on that mic? Or? Yeah, sure. That's okay, that's a working mic over there. Yeah. Dan's walking to the microphone. Yeah, his concern was, uh, you know, we, uh, we have some music, as it's board so member Smith knows. But it's in the after school hours. We do not have a daytime music program, <laughs> uh, which we'd like to get underway. But that's a combination decision of the board as well as uh, our management company, Saab. So maybe you could address a little bit of that so that he knows he's talking right to a decision maker. The, the first thing you can help us with, Mr. Allen, is you can write your uh, state representative and state senator and the governor Snyder and let them know that they need to restore school funding to the levels that it was five years ago because that would uh, increase our financial abilities to do some of these things. Uh, most people in the state of Michigan aren't aware that charter public schools, of which International Academy of Flint is, educates their students on a per pupil foundation that is significantly less than a district public school such as Grand Blanc or Flushing or Flint. And uh, it, you know, and that's the only funds that we get uh, besides the federal funds. We are not able to go out like a district public school to the people who own property and say we want to have you pass a millage so that we can build a pool or increase our band or whatever. So the big thing is all of our parents, uh, not just from our charter public school, but from all charter public schools, need to write their state legislatures and the governor and say restore school funding to the levels so all district public schools receive receive the same amount. There are some district public schools in this state that receive over $13,000 per pupil. We receive $7,180 per pupil. Yeah, it makes a big difference. So let, let's make it fair so everybody can do the same thing. We would, I tell you, we would love to have a band. We would love to have a swimming pool. Uh, we do have a little problem with some property on that mm -hmm. as far as the swimming pool. but. Uh, it is something we would like to see, and it takes money, and that's where we need to go. Mm -hmm. So if you're a good fundraiser, Art has a marketing committee, that, and you could join that marketing committee and help us raise some funds that we could put towards that. Yeah, I think that would be probably a good idea for us to do because uh, I was, you know, I guess it has to start with the parents and with the community mm -hmm. and with the people that's going there to bring that outlook on. Mm -hmm. But, but I will take your concerns to the next uh, strategic planning meeting that we have and make sure that they're on the table with the other items that we're looking at. In fact, that group meets real soon. So that he's not delaying this into the, the, no, the next year or anything. We have a strategic planning meeting coming up very shortly. Hopefully and he will bring that weeks. to their attention. He, he's a man of his word, I guarantee you. Yeah. Yes, sir. And if you would like to serve, and I'm glad he mentioned that, we put together, the board has a marketing committee in and of itself. 
but we've also expanded now and had a uh, community advisory marketing committee. And uh, I'll make sure that you receive notification of our next meeting and have uh, have you attend and have some of your input. Because well, be clearly, if we had a fundraising effort, uh, you'll never hear me turn that down. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll okay. do whatever I can to try to help to, you know, okay. I, I love the academic part of the mm -hmm. school and all I would just love to see the children mm -hmm. have just those other mm -hmm. elements there because uh, it just it just helps enhance the whole program and enhance the students and it, it's no mm -hmm. telling what we'll get out of that, you know. And, you, and, and yes, our, sir. Ahead, uh, sir. we may want to put him in touch with uh, either Debbie Bork or uh, Dr. Laurel Lynn Coggins or even Tracy Cromier, our school director. Regarding the Friends of the IAF, sure. which is a nonprofit organization that is not related to the board, is not controlled by the board, that goes out to raise money for this type of thing, but also for scholarships for the students when they graduate. Right. So that could be another avenue we could mm -hmm. use to raise money for these purposes. Okay, great. And of course, your daughter's a sophomore or junior? She's a sophomore, sophomore she's this in 10th grade. Yes, and then yes. you have a 6th grade so son. So she's still got two more years yeah. before And your son is in 6th grade. And he's in the 6th grade, okay. and uh, so he's got, you know, five more years before yeah. he graduates. And I, I would love to see him see some of that before okay. they graduate. Great. Well, Art, what about this flag football team that we have? Well, uh, I can talk a little bit about that, okay. We uh, certainly do have. Uh, we had uh, a flag football team, of course, you, and uh, we've had, oh my goodness, we had over 30-some kids playing. Uh, they played uh, one game this year. Uh, they went to Saginaw and uh, beat our sister school up there, the International Academy of Saginaw. And Art was commentator. Uh, <laughs> actually, you're right. Yeah, I forgot. I went up there. That's right. Uh, work with me here. It's setting in early. Work with me. Uh, yeah, we, you might oh, have heard, audience, if, if you're a dedicated <laughs> audience, uh, you may have uh, uh, recalled that we did go up there and adverti uh, advertise, but to broadcast uh, from the game, and there were a lot of shouting and hollering, and we had a lot of parents, and the kids went nuts, and you know, we were able to win the game, of course. Uh, uh, we knew the referees, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> it's okay, I can five minutes. But also, we're thinking, <clears throat> and related to your question about expansion, and I, th I think, can I share that a little bit? Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Board Member Smith, uh, we're looking at expanding into football uh, in the ensuing years here, but it won't be flag football, it will be tackle football. And uh, we may end up with, in lieu of an 11-man team, an 8-man team, because there is a recognized 8-man sport in uh, uh, the Michigan High School Athletic Association. So that proposal, I believe, will be, be, be before the board December or January by our athletic director, Terry Evanish. Uh, we've got a lot of support, of course, from even look at look at who's going like this. Look at who's going like this, mom. Okay. So we, I know our kids. Our kids. Oh, they're they're they're, they're just barking at the moon to get this going. And I I'm I think the support is there. So thank you for allowing me to mention that, uh, Mr. Smith. We appreciate that very much. Um, okay, I'm not so sure our uh, high, our kids that are in the mall, uh, they probably saw too many girls walking by and forgot to dial the phone. No call from the knuckleheads. <laughs> no call. Okay, so we may not get them to come in. Uh, any closing remarks, uh, Mr. Smith, before we kind of close here out? Well, we have to know that there are four great football games on TV today. Okay. Tonight you have Notre Dame against USC, yep. go Irish. Okay. Oh, you have nice. Auburn against Alabama. Go Auburn. Alabama. <laughs> you then have in Michigan. this corner. You then have Michigan against Ohio State. Oh, and Michigan oh, State oh. against Minnesota. Go Minnesota. State. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you. There's your broadcaster right there. <laughs> and you've got to go to CMU, of course, because that's what he said. So there you're headed. <clears throat> But anyway, uh, audience, uh, thank you for being with us this morning. we got a couple minutes yet. We want to kind of close out a little bit with some of our school things. Again, a thank you to the, uh, and let me just mention some of our, this will be for memory, so I'm right to miss somebody, but the, uh, our Thanksgiving dinner, we had great uh, uh, cooperation from some partners. Of course, the MTA. We mentioned uh, St. Paul's uh, Baptist Church, uh, Salvation Army. Thank you, folks. And First Class Transportation provided um, vans. We had Luigi's Pizza on uh, Davidson Road uh, provide us with, with some food. We had uh, our own local businessman, uh, Azim's Market, right on South Saginaw Street there. He gave us five or six turkeys. He does this every year. He's just a great, great gentleman and loves, uh, loves our, our neighborhood and our school. 
Um, I'm probably going to miss some folks here. Oh, Diplomat Pharmacy uh, assisted us as well, chipped in and uh, was very courteous. Our Southside Business and Resident Association, uh, they volunteered with uh, hauling our food baskets uh, outside from when the food truck came into the school so we could uh, deliver that to those that attended the dinner. And I'm probably missing one or two. I, uh, and of course, then we had, uh, you know, Coach Kendall, obviously, he beats you up every day. But, uh, I mean, that, not, not by <laughs> verbally, mother, verbally, relax. No. Oh, verbally. you know, okay. him up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he was there Wednesday night uh, cutting up the meat and such for us, along with another gentleman named Michael Tobias. Uh, that's been doing that for uh, us for a number of years as well. And the wonderful folks as well, the con some of the congregation from Vermont Christian Church who normally uh, provided us a van, but uh, their van driver had to be in Washington, D.C. Some of their members came and again contributed so much to the success uh, of, of the operation. And, um, oh, of course, we cannot forget the Eastside Mission because they uh, provided us with 40-some uh, pies, and I think I ate 38 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Smith had to, okay. I didn't have a single piece of pie. <laughs> no, he didn't have a piece. He had the whole thing, audience. Okay. And we had a great time. It was just a lot of fun. A lot of little work there, a lot of little work, but, oh, it's so much uh, so much fun when everybody gets together. How much time I got, Big Thumb? We got one second. We got one second. Everybody, wherever you are, if you're walking your dog, Reading the blog, if you're bouncing the ball in Barcelona, look at somebody and say, That is some kind of school. So long, everybody. <laughs>